Hey there. A lot of us are struggling often with pain, physical pain in the body, it could be emotional and mental anguish of some type. So this class is for you. We're going to go through a variety of techniques, breathing techniques, as well as visualizations that we might be able to use to help us decrease or get rid of, I hope, the pain that we're experiencing. So grab a blanket and a pillow and come join me on the mat. Welcome to Gentle Restorative. My name is Sandra, and I'd love for you just to take a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Give me a deep breath in and let it go. And just allowing your focus to linger on the breath. We're going to be working with the breath today. Well, we're always working with the breath, right? But more specifically, we're going to be working with the breath today and using it as a tool to hopefully diminish and release pain. Give me another deep breath in. Loud exhale. And then go ahead and inhale the arms up. Bring the palms together and exhale them home to your heart. Now, before you set your intention, just pause here a moment. The theme of this class is pain management. Um, I'm going to try to come up with as many different varieties and options for you. And one of the ones I like for me personally is to pay gratitude for the parts of my body that don't hurt. So. If I'm not feeling well, what I'll try to keep saying over and over in my head is, I love my healthy cells. And in that way, building up the healthy cells to overcome the ones that aren't. Does that make sense? So we don't wanna put the focus on the unhealthy cells. We wanna put the focus on the positive. So I want you to set your intention. And after you're done, whatever that intention may be, I just want you to add, I love my healthy cells. you're done, release the backs of the hands to the knees. Another deep inhale and another cleansing exhale. All right, so we're gonna start out on our backs. Now, having said that, and knowing that this is a theme about pain management, the assumption is that you have some type of pain. If you cannot lay on your back, don't do it. You might want to move so you can sit up against a wall or also when we're in seated positions, one of the best tactics uh, you can do to eliminate pain is to sit up on the edge of something. Okay, this blanket's not folded at all. <laughs> so just sit up on the edge of something so that the hips have a chance to not be at 90 degrees. So if you're okay on your back, let's go ahead and head there. Grab um, your bolster. And keep that underneath the knees. And then if you want um, a pillow or your blanket or even your block uh, out behind you to rest your head on, go ahead and grab that. And then gently lay back. And just rest the hands on your abdomen. I want you to focus on your breath and how powerful that breath is. We have used the breath for so many things in all of our yoga classes, right? And I keep saying it is the best tool you have. And that is true in this instance as well. So what I want you to do is 
As you inhale, I want you to say to yourself in your head, re, R-E, re. And as you exhale, lax, L-A-X, relax. So inhale is re, exhale is lax. Go ahead. And after your next exhale, just pause there for a moment. I want to add on. So this time, as you continue that breath with that same mantra, I want you to work your way up the body. So you might focus first on the feet and then say, relax and really feel the feet relax. We want to um, give that focus to each part of the body because of course, just because we're saying it doesn't mean that every part of the body is listening to us. So take your acknowledgement to each part of the body. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that. Work your way from the feet on up. If you find some tense places, you might linger there a little longer. If you definitely know where your pain spots are, you might linger there a little longer. And <clears throat> remember pain doesn't have to be physical. So if you're having any type of emotional or mental struggle, I want you to really work on relaxing the mind and the headspace. All right, I'm setting you free for a few minutes. Go ahead and do that. I give you another minute if you're done that's fine
Okay, hopefully you've made it through the whole body. Now, normally I would have talked you through that, but I really wanted you to feel empowered that you can take yourself through that when you need to. So <clears throat> all these techniques we're doing today are going to help you build, I guess, a practice or mm, a default for you to use, um, you know, should pain be too overwhelming. So for those of you lying on your backs, I want you to go ahead and hug your knees into the heart. If you remain seated and maybe you backed up to a wall, then just go ahead, <clears throat> place the feet on the ground, bend the knees and hug them in close. Deep breath in, big exhale. So for those of you on your back, go ahead and roll to a side in a fetal position. If you're seated, just stay right here. And then slowly make your way up. Let's push our props off the mat. And of course, any pose you need to change up today or skip, you absolutely should do. So let's come on over into table. And let's find our cat cow. Remember, you're inhaling on cow and exhaling to cat. So you've heard the term guided imagery, perhaps you've done what you call guided imagery or you call it guided meditation or guided visualization. I kind of want to talk about that for a moment. So keep going with your cat cow, by the way. Guided imagery is used to help um, reduce um, stress hormones. It's used to release tension, physical tension in the body. Um, and it's used to bring about relaxation all in a way that we can shift our attention away from pain, okay? So why do we have guided meditation and guided visualization? Why would there be two names? All right, go ahead and come back to table and then ease your way back into child's pose. Just keep the knees where they are, stretch this out. If you want to pull your block over for your head to rest on, that might be a great idea. So guided meditation and visualization are often used interchangeably. If we're going to get a little um, specific, guided meditation is more about going to an altered state of consciousness. It's about completely relaxing and letting go. Um, it's used to calm the nervous system. A visualization is used um, to kind of keep you more aware. So not slipping away into that unconscious Shavasana kind of space. It's to keep you more focused with the premise that our body reacts to our thoughts. And so if we can guide our thoughts to a place where pain maybe doesn't exist, then the body's natural instinct will be to follow us there. Um, so visualizations are more active. They're used to reset or reprogram those thought waves, and those, those messages going back and forth from the brain to the body that, hey, I think I'm experiencing pain. So, you can call it whichever you choose, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to try to keep you a little focused, um, giving you some different techniques, a variety of visualization techniques that you might want to use and you pick the one you like best. All right, so from where you are, let's go ahead, round through the spine, inhale up. So you'll be in cat, 
and then come to table. That's it. Push your way back. Inhale, round up. Release the spine of your table. Exhale, push back. So I want you to lengthen out the breath so that the movement is connected. And if the pain is in your knees and this is not good for you, you shouldn't be on the table, flip on over, right? I'll give you a variation. Of course, this is now assuming that you can be on your back, but if the issue is your knees, hopefully you can. Well, what we can do here is exhale, pull the knees in as though we were in an upside down child's pose. Inhale, just push the knees away, get a little arch in the back if you want to. Exhale, pull it in. Okay, so totally fair game to make up your own changes and variations. You've got to listen to your body and only you know where the pain is that you're focusing on. I certainly do not, <laughs> since I can't see you. Okay, do that one more time. We'll end up in child's pose again or you're on your back hugging the knees into the heart. And then let's go ahead, wherever you're at, make your way back up. We're gonna to come to a seated position, but will you go ahead and grab something to sit up on the edge of? Let's make it really quickly here. If you wanna sit up against the wall too, that's fine. All right, get comfortable, close your eyes. We're gonna inhale, say re. Exhale, lax. Okay. So Dr. Andrew Weil um, created this breath technique that he calls a natural tranquilizer for the nervous system. Doesn't that sound good if you're experiencing pain right now? So we've kind of done this in class before. I didn't go into the full um, explanation of it, but the numbers you're gonna keep in mind are four, seven, eight. And remember, we're all breathing and counting at a different rate. So whatever four is to you, whatever seven is to you, et cetera. So the inhale is on four. We hold for seven, we exhale eight. Now let me add on some details here. We inhale for four through the nose. We're holding for seven. We exhale for eight through an open mouth. One other key point. During that entire time, you're going to take the tip of your tongue up behind the front back teeth, behind the front teeth. Can't have front back teeth. Behind the front teeth, your tongue is going against the back of the front teeth. There, I said it right. It stays there even on the exhale, okay? So let's just do this. I'll talk you through one and then I'll set you um, off on your own for just three breaths, okay? So for a total of four. So here we go, empty the lungs. Your tongue is behind the front teeth. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale through the mouth, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you do it at your pace, three rounds.
when you're done, just, just be for a moment. So Dr. Weil recommends that you do that exact breath twice a day, three times. You can build your way up um, to doing more cycles of that, but I believe, don't quote me on this, I think he stops at I, around seven. So the important part is just getting that into your practice and doing it twice a day. All right, inhale the arms up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, right arm up, left arm down. Gentle side bend to the left. Staying with that breath. And then come back to center, release that right arm. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, left arm up, right arm down. Side bend to the right. Slowly come back to center and release that left arm. Draw the shoulders up, hold them right here. You might wanna rock the neck out a little bit against the shoulders. And when you're ready, you'll bring the head to center, take those shoulders back and down. Close your eyes. Inhale, re. Exhale, relax. You're gonna take that right arm right across the heart and stretch it out. And other arm. And gently release, inhale both arms. Exhale the hands to the heart. Pause right here, saying to yourself, I love my healthy selves. And then release the hands. Okay, so you know why you chose this class. You know which part of your body's hurting, but we need to do a body scan and just make sure that we have covered all areas. So having said that, if you are fine on your back, go ahead and lay down, grab whatever props you want. If you cannot lay on your back, but you prefer your stomach, that's fine. You might want to put the blanket um, underneath the hips or your bolster if you want to. If you can't get down all the way, sit up against something like the wall so you don't have to work super hard to hold yourself in place. So Essentially, it's not super important how you end up. It's just important that you are happy and comfortable. So go ahead, I'll give you a moment to um, figure that out. Okay, so. I'm assuming you're all, you're all set. I'm just gonna sketch my legs out. I think it's easier to do a body scan when my legs are straight. Otherwise I feel like I'm following my legs and wait, which, where am I headed? <clears throat> so closing your eyes, take another deep breath in. Let it go. And then take your focus down into your feet. So the purpose of the scan is to find the areas of tension in the body or to find the areas of pain. Now that might sound a little obvious, like of course I know where my pain is, but maybe you don't. Sometimes pain radiates and we don't realize it's coming from somewhere else. So I really want you to give your body your full attention. So focusing on the feet, 
the toes, um, the balls of the feet, the arches, the heels. Is there any pain, any issues, any tension? If the answer is yes, I want you to kind of write that down in your mind. We'll come back to it. If the answer is no, great, we move on, right? So take your focus into your ankles. Now, you might experience ankle pain when you're standing, but don't notice it right now. So acknowledge that. Yeah, usually if I stand up right now, my right ankle is going to hurt. So we count that. Write that down. Bring your focus up into the calves and the shins. Noticing if there's any pain or tension. And then bring your focus up into a problem area for a lot of people, the knees. And where do you feel the pain in the knees? Is it right behind the kneecaps? Is it actually way behind the knee, um, back of the leg? Let's get a little more specific. Is it one knee, is it both? Bring your focus up into the thighs and the backs of the thighs. And then into the hips, the glutes, the very low abdomen. From here, take your focus to your low back. Mm -hmm. And then a little higher in the abdomen from the navel, perhaps on up, so the solar plexus. Bring your focus to your mid back. Take that up to the space between the shoulder blades. And then bring your focus into the chest. And into the shoulders. Take your focus into both upper arms. Into your elbows. Into your forearms. So remember, if you usually, if you suffer from carpal tunnel and you don't feel it right now, we're still acknowledging that. What about the wrists? The hands and the fingers. And then bring your focus to the throat and the back of the neck. How about the jaw? Cheek. 
cheeks, nose, ears, temples, eyes, forehead, back of the head. Is there anything I missed? Take your attention there. And then on a scale of one to 10, I want you to rate your current pain. So one is minimal, 10 is, I can't even finish doing this class right now. I, I gotta do something about this pain. And then give me a deep inhale, cleansing exhale. So I want you to make sure you're comfortable, however you chose to be. And the first thing we're gonna do is work with the breath a little bit more. So what I want you to do is each inhale, you can breathe in, um, healing, health, peace, you can label the word, just don't make it negative. Like don't say pain free because the word pain is still in there. So we're breathing in something good. We're breathing in healing. Each time you exhale, I want you to be exhaling pain, be exhaling tension. You can kind of think about that exhaling out of your body. You can visualize it if you want to. So well, let's try that for a moment. All right, one more breath. So if you are extremely comfortable, you can stay exactly where you are, but I wanna give you an option to move if you kind of feel like that's what your body needs. So if you're on your back, you could either bend the knees, take the feet wide, let the knees drop together, or if you feel like, no, I just need a little bit something more, then let's bring the knees and feet together. Get a prop on the left side of you. Drag my block over here. And we'll drop the knees over to the left. So just a little twist here. You can move your arms to extend them out from the shoulders if you like. Now, if you're on your stomach and you're happy on your stomach, you could come to Gecko. So, 
quick flip here. Uh, since we did the twist to the left, it goes on the back. Let's do gecko with the left side so I don't get confused, which could happen very easily. Left knee comes out straight from the hip, 90 degrees. Left arms in scarecrow, head rests, right ear rests on the right hand. Okay. If you decided to stay seated, um, I kind of leave it up to you if that's where you want to remain. If you want to change up the position a little, maybe a child's pose. Uh, I just I just need you happy. That's it. Just need you happy. All right, give me a deep inhale and let it go. So one technique that we can do with pain is we can try to transfer the pain somewhere else. So what does that mean? Okay, so, um, you know what, I'm gonna use, uh, I've been having a lot of issues with my contact prescription, so I've had a lot of eye strain the past few days. So I'm gonna use my eyes as an example of just all that tension that's behind them. Well, because tension behind my eyes then creates a headache and it affects everything I do, it makes it quite a challenge for my pain to be located there. So I'm going to visualize transferring it somewhere else. It would be easier for me to contain that strain, that tension and that pain in my right hand. So I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm going to imagine that all of the tension in my eyes is now in my right hand. So you pick whatever's good for you. You know, move with the pain somewhere. Just see you get a break, right? We want to just try to take our focus somewhere else. It can be um, any other part of the body you want. It could be your ear, right? <laughs> it doesn't, the ear doesn't impact us all, all that much, I guess, the outside of it anyway. So you decide. And with your focus on that part of the body that is going to accept the pain, I want you to first express gratitude. And then really start to feel something, a sensation, a weight in that hand, in that ear, whatever part of the body it is. Allowing that part of the body to fully accept all of your tension and pain. Keep your focus on that new body part. Notice it's easier to make space and hold the pain in this new, this new place. Don't let the mind go back to the original place. To check and see if the pain is still there. The mind stays focused on that new spot. Continue to breathe consistently, deeply. I'm focusing on the pain in my right hand. My hand feels very tingly. It feels heavy. Uh, I've got kind of an ache in my fingers. And that's all good. <laughs> that's all good. You can keep saying to yourself, I am holding the pain where? In that new place. I'm holding the pain in my right hand, holding the pain in my earlobe. Do you see how focused we are about this? That's kind of going to be the difference between our guided meditation and visualization, which we'll get to. All right, I'm going to keep holding my tension and my pain in my right hand while I switch my twist 
to the other side, or I switch gecko to the other side, or whatever pose I ended up in. My focus is still on the new spot. So if you're having a challenge with this, it's okay. This is going to take practice. The ultimate goal would be for this to be a much quicker process where I can go, oh gosh, that pain is back. I'm gonna immediately transfer it to my right hand so that I can just quickly shift my focus there and then proceed with my day or whatever I'm doing. But now, <clears throat> what are we gonna do with the pain that we have in the other space? So. If that's going to be the end of your practice and you're like, yes, that helped, what I would suggest is, well, depending on where you moved it to, since it's in my hand, I'm just gonna brush it off. I'm going to visualize it disintegrating into the earth. If you moved it somewhere like the ear, you could just rub out the ear and set the intention that you're disintegrating the pain. So wherever you moved it to, I want you to go ahead and Shake off or rub out that area. And straighten out your gecko. You can um, bring the knees back up out of your twist. Give me a deep inhale. Big exhale. And so, of course, <clears throat> all these ideas I'm giving you, you don't have to do them all at once. I, I would suggest start with one that you think is kind of cool or you really notice the difference or you really like, and then work with that and you can add on as you see fit. All right, so we're gonna slowly, don't come up as fast as I did. I want you to slowly come back to a seated position. So if you want to roll to um, your side first, that's okay. I just don't want you to get lightheaded. Once you're back up and take your time, I want you to look around your room. Where is a spot that you could set something, right? So I have a table right here off to my left. There's a couch here and there's um, a kind of a cabinet right here. So I think I'm gonna pick the couch. I could set something right there on that couch. Where could you set something? Okay, now close your eyes. Take your focus to the area or areas that you identified as holding tension and or pain. And I want you to tell the pain that you need a break. That you just really need a break. And you can't be here anymore. So what I want you to do is visualize scooping up that pain. You can even use your hands, make the motion if you want to. And scoop up that pain. So I've got a big ball of it or a little ball of it. And I want you to either toss it or you can get up and go set it wherever you chose. I'm gonna to toss this ball of pain to the couch. It's sitting right there. Now look at it. You can give it a shape, you can give it a color, it can be an object, whatever you need it to be. And I want you to recognize that your pain is across the room from you. You can have a conversation with it. I need relief. In fact, while you're staring at it, just allow my words to be yours. I see you 
pain sitting there, I see you. I acknowledge you. I am not ignoring you. But I need relief. I deserve relief. And I need you to stay over there farther away from me. I understand you have a life lesson for me, but I also understand that you can teach it to me from over there. I lovingly create this distance between us. And you can pause and listen back. What are you listening for? You know, the first thing that popped into my head as soon as we went silent was you're not seeing something clearly. And that goes back to the eye strain. Okay, so now I've got something to work on. I've got to think about that. The premise here is I'm acknowledging the pain. You have my, my attention. I, I get it. You're here to teach me something, but I can be a receptive student from afar. You can be over there, I can be here, and we can begin to cut ties. Close your eyes. Give me a deep inhale. Big exhale. Okay. So here's another technique you can work with. I want you to take your focus to the pain, to the tension. I want you again to consolidate all the pain into a ball. So I like to actually use my hands. I'm visualizing it, but I'm also using my hands to bring that all together. Okay, so I have this ball. I, I'm visualizing it kind of floating out in front of me, but I want you to actually take that ball into where the source of the pain is. So it's as though we were trying to shrink it. We're trying to bring it all together. And, you know, it might start out big. That's okay. Let's give it the color red because red's kind of a glaring color. It's associated with pain. And I want you to work on shrinking the size of the ball. So you can use the hands. You can do this all in your mind. Maybe it's with the breath. Each exhale, the ball constricts. It gets smaller and smaller. And the smaller the ball gets, the less pain there is. It's not being condensed into a tighter, sharper pain. It is actually being condensed into less pain. And as that, that ball gets smaller, I want you to feel the relief. I'm, I guess I'm using my abdomen as an example, but feel the relief of the muscles around that area that were being pushed by this ball and now have their freedom back. The ball gets smaller. And now that it's smaller, it's, it's a little more, bit more manageable. So I don't want to leave it where it is because that isn't the point. We controlled it. We, we reined the pain scale in. But now I want you to use your mind to distance yourself from that ball. So you can either see it just moving through you and out of you. That is an easy way for you to do it. It can suddenly appear in front of you, however is best for you. 
And I want you to visualize, like I'm seeing this ball right in front of my face. I'm gonna use my mind to begin to push it away from me, all the way across the room. And as that ball moves further and further away, it gets smaller and it takes your pain with it. You can watch it until it's completely out of sight. Breathing and healing and letting go. So now that we've cleared that space, we've moved the pain outside of us. Have you ever heard that when somebody has like an amputation, they can still feel like the limb is still there or an organ's taken out? Something has to refill that space. In my Reiki world, it's a healing energy, it has to refill that space. So wherever you took the pain from, we now want to fill with healing and love and light. So will you bring your hands together at your heart? Take your focus to the palms. Your words are mine. I love my healthy cells. And I want you to visualize this this warmth of healing that's starting to grow between your hands. Feel your hands getting warmer. Start to feel any sensation in the hands. You might feel tingling or pulsating. Set the intention that every sensation you feel is all about healing. Letting that healing energy generate, grow stronger. And when you feel ready, I want you to lay your hands on the parts of the body that you retracted or pulled pain away from. So if it's more than two spots, we're gonna have to take turns, right? Laying your hands wherever that was, and envisioning this healing energy, vibration, light coming from your hands, filling that space. You are acknowledging with love and light. You're giving yourself permission to let go. And to be healed. Okay, when you're done, you can release the hands from wherever they are. Inhale, take the arms up. If you're, yeah, I think we're all seated now, right? Bring the palms together, exhale to the heart. And then I'm gonna take you on one more little journey. So as comfortable as you can be. Uh, yeah, heading into Shavasana. So if you can land your back, great. If you can't land your back, it doesn't matter. You can lay on your side, your stomach. Sit back against a wall, um, support a child's pose, um, hug the knees into the heart and just kind of, you know, rest your face on your knees if you can reach them, whatever works for you. I just want you to be comfortable 
and I don't want parts of the body to be complaining um, about how they're situated. So go ahead and get comfortable. I'll give you a moment. Okay. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to inhale, three. Exhale, relax. Inhale, re. Exhale, relax. Make sure the body is listening to you. Keep going. We're relaxing the legs. We're relaxing the hips. We're relaxing the torso. The shoulders and the arms. The neck and the head. Each inhale brings in healing. Each exhale sends away pain. Inhale healing. Exhaling pain. And what I want you to notice with the exhales is as you release the pain, the body relax even more. So you feel heavier and heavier, allowing yourself to completely let go, but yet to stay focused on my words. Inhaling peace. Exhaling pain. We don't need it anymore. It has gotten our attention. We get there's a learning lesson. We are prepared to be the student. And we are able to release the pain now. Inhale, re. Exhale, lax. Body getting heavier and heavier. Allowing your focus to return to your areas of tension, stress, and or pain. Even if we're not feeling the pain right now because we sent it away, your focus is on those places. Now let's visualize that it is a fabulously warm day and we're lying outside. The sun is brilliant in the sky. It's warmth is, oh, it's mesmerizing. And with your eyes closed, you can visualize the heat emanating from the sun. You begin to notice that it's as though the sun rays as they come down to you, they look like molten drops making their way down towards you. And this, this warm sunlight that's dripping its way down is filled with healing. It's filled with love. Mm -hmm. It's going to melt the pain away. So as you see this, this drop of a sun ray come closer and closer to you, let it drip right into the body part, that area that was housing your pain. I want you to feel the intense warmth 
it's not burning. It is the perfect temperature. It is so warm. It feels like it has massaged all of the muscles nearby, all of the tendons have relaxed, all of the ligaments and fascia have softened, the bones have grown heavy with relaxation and healing and peace. I want you to notice how this beautiful, beautiful sun drop melts away anything that is not healthy. It melts away pain until all that is left is this amazing warmth, this feeling of being reconnected to health, and of course, a feeling of gratitude.
as you draw your focus back to your breath. You feel peaceful and relaxed. And right here, again, I want you to rate what you're feeling on a scale of one to 10. One being the least amount of pain possible. Deep inhale, slowly let it go. And keeping your eyes closed, just gently place your hands over your heart. I wanna leave you in a position where you can stay here after this class is over if you want, so just Acknowledging the heart space and the intention that you set. The light in me bows to the light in you. And when I'm in that place in me and you're in that place in you, then we become one. Namaste.